Good day everybody and uh, welcome to another episode of uh, Buying Property Basics in Malaysia and today we're going to deviate again as per my recent trend. We're not really going to talk about property today but we're going to talk about buying car in Malaysia okay? which is a topic that I find tends to come up quite a fair bit again because uh, a lot of people that buy property in Malaysia they're looking for things like retirement or uh, looking for second home right and in the process of going through this uh, decision we find that a lot of questions also come down to transportation. Right, and I always recommend those people that if you plan to stay for some time in Malaysia, you should consider buying a car in Malaysia. So the question that most people uh, ask me is, huh, I can buy a car in Malaysia? The answer is yes. If you are Singaporean, you can buy a car in Malaysia. So when I say buy a car, we are referring to Malaysian registered car. Lah, right, uh, and um, you know Malaysia plate. Malaysia car plate, right? This car, as a Singaporean, you can buy, you can drive around this car in Malaysia. Of course, the main restriction with this is that this car, you cannot drive in Singapore. Lah. Of course, right? If everybody in Singapore can buy a Malaysia car, take the car back to Singapore to drive, then Singapore car all need to drive, right? <laughs> so, so, you can only drive this car in Malaysia, you cannot drive this car in Singapore. In fact, like myself, I'm a Malaysian citizen, but because I'm a PR in Singapore, I also cannot drive Malaysia car in Singapore because we're considered Singapore resident. But, uh, I can drive Malaysia car in Malaysia. So similarly, if you're Singaporean, if you buy a Malaysian car, you can drive this car in Malaysia, but you cannot drive in Singapore. Okay, so that is the main restriction for doing so. But the reason why uh, a lot of people will want to buy a car in Malaysia because it's convenient, right? Malaysia is still, in, in many ways, it's a car driving nation. Uh, a lot of places are a lot more accessible, accessible by car, right? Whether you want to buy food, go to tourism, visit places, visit friends, right? Car is still the most convenient way to travel around in Malaysia. But of course, if you're not capable of driving, that's a different story, right? You can take public transportation, take Grab or things like that, or stay near places that are near MRT or which are more convenient where things are walking distance to you. But if you are in the age where you can still drive a car, your body is healthy enough to drive a car, and you want to drive a car, I would, I would suggest to drive a car in Malaysia. So first thing first, uh, how do you, what do you need to buy this car in Malaysia, right? Number one, you need your Singapore IC, and number two, you need your Singapore uh, driving license. I think this is the minimum documents that they will require to uh, register, to buy and register this car under your name, right? The other thing, of course, is that you can always take a loan to buy this car. Um, this will be a ringgit loan by a Malaysian bank. The interest rates today, I think, are around 3-4%, but these are higher purchase rates, uh, so they're actually uh, higher than a mortgage uh, bank, a house mortgage rate. Right, and I understand from people that sell car one that is that uh, you need a minimum of thirty percent down payment, uh, and you can borrow the balance for up to seven years, right? Uh, and of course, the bank will require to assess your income. They will need to see your income documents, your payslip, your bank statements, and those standard documents that you apply for a loan, right? Uh, in any bank, right? Uh, they will need to see this before they can grant you the loan. But then again, I expect most people from Singapore, if you're going to buy a car in Malaysia, I I, I think a lot of people will buy the car cash without taking a loan because cars in Malaysia are definitely a lot, a lot cheaper than Singapore, right? So, uh, yeah, so why take a loan? Why pay bank interest when the cars are not that expensive and you can try to buy them cash, right? So uh, that's one option, I believe, that if you do want to pay high interest rates for the car purchase in, in, in Malaysia, okay? So how much are car prices in Malaysia actually, right? So a brand new... Toyota Vios, right? A sedan car, four doors, right? That a lot of people in Singapore are probably familiar with. Uh, a Toyota Vios or a Honda City, the equivalent will probably be a brand new one, will be about 85,000 ringgit, right? Um, yeah, 85,000 ringgit is maybe just under 20 something thousand, 30,000 Sing dollars, right? Uh, and if you want to buy uh, another car that's great for city driving, right? Driving around the city, if you're not going to travel too far distance, just want to get around JB. Right, and maybe an hour, hour plus out of JB, I think this car is still great, which is the Perodua MyV, right? The Perodua MyV is actually a Daihatsu uh, clone model, right? So it's a very, it's a great car, right? I believe that if you're Singaporean, you don't want to buy something too expensive, you just want to drive around JB or Johor, right? A Perodua MyV is a great car, easy to maintain, uh, inexpensive, right? And a, per, a brand new Perodua MyV is about maybe uh, 65,000 ringgit, I think, uh, plus minus. And of course, if you can go and hunt and shop around in the market for a good second-hand car, right? Definitely cars can be a lot, a lot cheaper, right? Uh, I mean, a, a car that a few years old uh, will definitely be a lot cheaper than the prices I mentioned earlier. And I think if you want to buy value for money, of course, second-hand car is the best. But you must be able to assess the cars, of course. Go around, do your shopping, and find a car that suits you for the good price that you want. Second-hand cars, you can also buy as a, uh, a, a Singaporean. So, and of course, a lot of value there in, in second-hand cars.
um, more expensive cars we are if you talk about like if you if you really want to go high end and buy stuff like you know BMW or uh, you want to buy like Toyota Camry right? I think brand new Toyota Camry probably over two hundred thousand ringgit uh, a three series BMW probably around two hundred thirty thousand ringgit or two six two fifty two sixty I think that was the latest prices uh thousand ringgit right of course again yeah all, um these are all brand new prices ah. The important thing about buying cars in Malaysia that these cars do not have COE, right? That's, Malaysia does not have this concept of COE. So effectively, that this car that you buy, they are free whole car, right? They can you can drive until they 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 break down forever, cannot be destroyed. Uh, there is no expiry date on these cars, right? You can drive them for a long, long, long time as long as you can you can keep them maintained and service, right? So that's a great thing. These cars are effectively free whole, right? They are no ten year lease, uh, like a COE for a car in Singapore. So that's a great thing about Malaysian cars. I find that it's, it's a great opportunity for Singaporeans to buy cars that you love, you enjoy, that you want to drive for the rest of your life maybe, right? Or even switch cars often if you'd like, if that's something that you enjoy. This is something that you can do in, uh, in, in Malaysia with the Malaysian cars. So how about uh, maintenance and how about fuel? So as a, uh, a Malaysian car, actually by right, you, but you're a Singaporean driver, by right, you still have to pump the uh, RON 97 petrol. Right, which is the uh the, the a bit more expensive one, which is just about three ringgit fifty five cents per liter. Right, it's still a lot cheaper than Singapore, half the prices of uh of Singapore petrol. Right, uh if you uh, which is about three ringgit fifty five cents. Right, for a Ron ninety seven uh petrol. Right, and of course servicing and maintenance costs. There are lots of car workshops around in Malaysia that you can go and find. Uh, ideally, you should find a car workshop that sort of specializes or more is more experience with the car model that you are buying you can always ask this from the the car seller right where do they service their cars right or you can check with the original car manufacturer uh, which are their recommended uh, workshops in uh, in Johor right and you can do the car servicing there again they are like half the price of uh, Singapore when it comes to car maintenance right uh, cars do need to, to be serviced regularly right um, every five to eleven thousand depending on the car age right kilometers of mileage, right? Uh, car servicing needs to be done, but yeah, they can be done locally in in JB. Uh, and I think car workshops are quite clear. They would, you know, they they. I mean, there's so many Singaporeans who do their car maintenance and and services in in JB today. That prices, I think, uh, are quite quite fair for uh, Malaysians or Singaporeans alike. So buying a car, what are the benefits? I think number one, the big benefit is convenience, lah, Right, you can uh, get around JB. As you know, uh, there's no public transportation within JB is not very good right uh, of course there are buses and grab and things like that but having your own car of course is the most convenient all right if you buy a landed property in malaysia uh it is generally better to have a car because otherwise your landed property very very likely does not have easy access to amenities uh in walking distance so you need to get a car to go out to buy food or, or, or groceries and things like that and and a car is definitely a lot more convenient for that purpose, uh, right? The other great thing about car, I think, is about domestic tourism. That means if you want to go to Malacca, you want to go to Kota Tinggi, you want to go to the Saru, you want to drive up to KL, right? A car provides a huge amount of convenience, right? And uh, a car allows you to travel distances, which is something that you can't really do in Singapore, right? I think that is a is a great use case of living in Malaysia to be able to visit all of Malaysia's great tourism spots, uh, nature areas, other cities to enjoy local culture, the kampung life. Right, uh, a car gets you there, right, and you can then uh, do all that in the car, right. That's that's the great thing about well, that's one of the great things about owning a car, uh, in in Malaysia. You tend to ask me is that if my car is in Malaysia, I can't drive this car in Singapore. How do I get to my car? So my my opinion is that you still have to take public transport today from Singapore to JB. Of course, when the RTS is ready in three years time, the MRT, right, you can take MRT from Singapore to JB, right, or today no choice uh, today you have to take bus or KTM or carpool or whatever right you get to jb from jb you take grab to your car and then you know and when you're in the car you can basically do whatever you want so the idea is um you still need to get to take public transportation to cross the border from singapore to uh from singapore to jb but once you are in jb then you can take a grab to wherever your car is and then from there you can drive your car uh, around jb wherever you want to go yeah so i hope i describe the pros and uh, of using a car in Malaysia, uh, buying a car in Malaysia. A short video today, I think the topic doesn't require that much time, but uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I think give you a lot of insight as well. Something to explore, right? Uh, lifestyle benefits about staying in Malaysia.
uh, which is buying a car in Malaysia. So I hope that this video was educational and you learned something. And if you like what I have to say and other topics about buying property in Malaysia or living in Malaysia, do like, share, subscribe to my channel, uh, YouTube. We are also on uh, TikTok. We are also on Facebook. Uh, talk about Singapore and Malaysia property uh, property uh, in general. Uh, you can also join our mailing list, right? Uh, info is in the description below. Uh, we can get emails from us on updates on our events in Singapore and Malaysia. So thank you very much. Bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed that and hope to see you in the car in Malaysia soon. Bye-bye.